Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a dramatic cut crease tutorial that you guys requested on Twitter, Instagram, and everywhere since December. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get right into it. Of course, before doing my face, I went in with my Spin Forward Skin and I cleaned my face really good, got rid of all the dirt on it. This really does help with acne and so forth. And in the description box, I'll have the link to where you can get this and get 70% off your order. This is originally $100, and after my discount, you do get it. It is 70% off, so it is $30 after my discount code. And I'll have that link for you below in the description box. So, okay, so first, I'm just going to be priming my face with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. And this is the Smoothing Primer. And I'm just going to put that all in my T zone area. So now that I have my face primed and ready to go, I'm going to just go in with the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I'm going to be mixing fair and light together to get my perfect shade. I really enjoy this stuff. It's really good coverage. And I'll just be taking a beauty blender to apply that all over my face. And then for concealer today, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Naked Weightless Skin, skin whatever the fuck concealer, and I'm just going to, you know, conceal and highlight any places I want to bring forward. I'm running out of this stuff and it's killing me because I love it so much. Uh. And for concealer today, I'll be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Color Conceal Concealer or whatever, I don't know. And I'll be taking a Luxie 131 brush, and I believe this is from the JD Weighty 180 kit. And I'll be using that to apply it under my eyes. I'll take any leftover product to highlight even more, because why not? Let's kick shit on today. And I'll be setting that with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Okay, so um, that, just ignore, just ignore all of that. Just ignore all of that. Okay, so first I'm just gonna take my Morphe M409 brush and I'm going to map out where I want the cut crease to lie. And I'm gonna be using Frappe from Makeup Geek to do so. So typically what I like to do for cut creases is go um, hella fucking extreme because I do have very hooded eyes. I'm just gonna take that from the inner corner and bring it up above my crease. And it's okay if it's sloppy, we're just mapping this out right now. So a makeup artist that goes by Miss Fame, she's also a drag queen, um, I learned from her that you can take a lip pencil and you can help define the lid and you can blend it out very easily and it's like a very quick way to do a cut crease. I'm just taking my MAC Stone Lip Liner and I'm going to go over where I traced. I suggest having a sharper pencil, I just don't know where a sharpener is. Oh, and by the way, warm it up on the back of your hand because if you don't, it's not going to apply smoothly. So taking my Morphe M326 brush, which is a really great brush for detail work, I'm going to just start blending that out. You can bring it up a little bit too. Just drag it up. And then taking a Sigma Winged Liner EO6 brush, a very tiny, that has a very tiny tip. I'm gonna go into Coco Bear by Makeup Geek and I'm going to define that a little bit more and darken it up a little bit more. And then with, and then adding Frappe to my M, 326 brush from Morphe. I'm going to blend that out further and add some more definition and help it gradiate out. And a trick I like to do is holding my brush flat and helping it blend out effortlessly. And then going in with my Morphe M431 brush, this tiny cute little brush, I'm going to use circular motions and blend these together.
And then going back with that same Sigma EO6 brush, I'm going to go into Fudge by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm going to deepen that even further. And this is where the true definition is gonna come in. Taking this Morphe M515 brush, which is this little itty bitty little blending brush, this tapered little blending brush type thing, which is perfect for detail work like this. I'm going to blend this out. I'm gonna put it flat to my face and just blend that out. And then for shits and giggles, I just wing like the slightest little wing up and out just to have a cute and different type of eye look. And this brush has Coco Bear by Makeup Geek on it. And then I wanna blend it downwards. I'm gonna bring it into the bottom lash line as well. And then defining it with fudge from Anastasia Beverly Hills and then blending it down. And then taking Co Cocoa Bear on my Morphe something brush. It's just a flat brush like this. I don't, it's rubbed off. I'm going to run this along my upper lash line. And I'm just running Frappe, Frappe under the lash line. And then taking Fudge by Anastasia Beverly Hills on an angled brush and then defining that crease down here. and then blending that out. And taking a white shimmery shadow. I'm just using Starlight from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna put that in the middle. And I'm putting that on the lid as well. Just for some added shimmer. And then putting that on the brow bone. First I'm going to take Coco Bear by Makeup Geek on that same Sigma EO6 brush. I'm going to kind of, you know, do a little little thing in my bottom right there. And now that I have it mapped out, I'm going in with, I'm going into Fudge from Anastasia to really define it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go put on some lashes and mascara real quick and do the rest of my face and I'll come back with the lipstick. I'm gonna do Lush from 511 Cosmetics to liquid lipstick. I haven't even tried this yet, to be honest, so I'm kind of nervous. <sighs> okay, guys, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to do an extreme cut crease, kind of different, kind of out there. You can definitely, you don't have to replicate this on your own. You can definitely do something completely different using the same techniques. Um, it'll all work the same. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to leave a like. Tell me what you guys wanna see next in the comments below and I'll definitely get back to you on that. Um, yeah, please don't forget to follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, everything will be in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye. Um, you fucked up the HDMI cable, you dumb cunt. Okay. Lip color, lip color, lip color. I don't know what lip color I want to do. Um, I'm using this highlighter and I am concealing my acne you're doing on my jawline. You're concealing with a huge ass brush. Is that not what? <laughs> <laughs> Is that not what this is for? Um, then I'm gonna use my booty blender and I'm going to highlight under my eyes to kind of bring out that, you know, pop, you know? There's makeup on there and I hope it makes your eyes look ashy. <laughs> We're just gonna blend in our eyeshadow with this um, paintbrush. Paintbrush? Yeah, that's what it's called, right? And then we're gonna use our lip liner to kind of just, mmm, 
It's gonna buffer those lips right up, you know what I mean? And then we're going to use this um, True Match, um, True Match um, lipstick on <laughs> our lips. So just kind of really <laughs> blend in the natural color, bring out the natural color of our lips. Um, and then um, we're gonna put in some blush. And then we're gonna add a little showing up on your skin. Mmm, <laughs> oh, it's a neat. 